this week is severe weather preparedness week and today's focus is tornado safety and there was a statewide tornado drill earlier this morning at about 9 15. Hopefully you took that time to kind of realize where your safe place is, whether school, home or work. Speaking though, in terms of tornado safety, if you ever hear of a tornado watch that is issued, that means that conditions are favorable for a possible tornado. So just be prepared and know where your safe place is in case a warning is issued. If that is the case, you definitely want to go ahead and take action and get to your safe place. It means the tornado was either spotted by the radar or an actual person did see that. And if there's ever an emergency, that means that you definitely want to get to that safe place because there is a tornado that is on the ground causing damage. So again, just be mindful of that. Now, the best place to be if there is a tornado in progress, you want to be on the lowest level of your home or the lowest level of your work facility or school, preferably away from windows. You want to put as many walls between you and the outside, whether a bathroom, closet, an interior hallway. Basements, though, are great places to be or storm shelters. So just FYI, we're kind of moving into that season where we do tend to see a lot more activity in terms of severe weather and a tornado threat, mainly around that March, April time frame. So just know what that safe place is for where you're going to be, whether school, home or at work. As far as today, no severe weather, but we did have some very strong winds. We had a wind advisory. It has ceased for a good portion of the area. Still our Alabama County sit under it including Sumter, but we do have better winds out there right now. Winds generally about 10 to 20 miles per hour. We do have winds still gusting over 20 miles per hour right now. Wind gust in Meridian of 25, but at one point we had winds gusting up to near 45 miles per hour. As far as what's happening on EMEPA live radar, not a whole lot of activity. We see a few showers to our west affiliated with the weak boundary. Those may try to sneak into the area, but again, it's not going to be a big deal. As we head into tomorrow, though, the big picture is showing another front that's going to move in. This is the one that's going to cross by Thursday night, but nonetheless is going to remain unseasonably warm. We had 80s for today. We're going to have temperatures just as warm or maybe even a little warmer for tomorrow. And we'll talk about that. I'm kind of walking you through as we head towards 9 o'clock tonight. This particular forecast model isn't really picking up on much in terms of a shower that we could see, but I'll leave in a small chance 20%. After midnight, though, we'll throw a few more in there, about 30% chance for a minute, a little bit of light activity. 8 o'clock in the morning on your Thursday. Again, maybe a sprinkle or two. Otherwise, just a warm and muggy start midday. Again, an isolated shower can't be ruled out, but we could have a few more as we head towards that afternoon evening time frame as the boundary gets closer. But as far as the warmth, again, it's going to be another warm day tomorrow. Even now, it is very mild. 76 in Meridian. We have 78 for Philadelphia, 78 at this hour for Butler. Tomorrow, we're expecting highs to reach the mid 80s. We'll go with 84. The standing record is 85. And notice the average 66. The temperature is going to be close to 20 degrees above the norm as we head into your Thursday. Tonight, though, it's going to be well above the average for a low temperature. We should have lows in the low 40s. So we're going to have temperatures close to 30. 30 degrees above the average, uh, kind of flirting with 70 tonight. Again, maybe a sprinkle, but for tomorrow, again, possibly record challenging heat, not as windy, a few showers, cooler Friday, and then we have unseasonably warm weather as we head towards the weekend. So, yeah, it's a warmer forecast versus yeah. anything else. Yeah, so do you know what?